five, four, three, two, one. I think we just won a unit. Yep. $260. About $30 more than what I wanted to pay. We are back at it again. I bought another storage unit. I know a lot of you have been asking me, when am I going to buy another storage unit? Well, today is the day I did that thing for you guys. I needed some more stuff for the flea market booth. I'm running low on furniture. It's time to buy another one. So I thought perfect timing. It's uh, been a few minutes since I bought one for the Jones edition page. So hopefully you enjoy this video. Today is going to be filmed just a little bit different today. We don't have a lot of time to clean this out. We got to be Johnny on the spot, get in, get out. I will show you everything I find that is cool. Trust me, don't worry. Hang tight to the end of the video where I show you all the cool items. I'm just not going to be able to show you at the storage unit. So I'll probably put you on some, of, some type of time lapse. I'm excited about this unit. It's the, probably the cleanest unit that I've bought so far. So that's kind of kind of fun. I won't have to wade through a bunch of different trash to find all the good items. Has a decent amount of furniture. I got the new trailer with me today. So we'll try out the new trailer. First time going to a storage unit cleaning with the Jeep. I'm just excited about this one. So stay tuned. It's really windy out here today. Hopefully I don't lose my broom, it's in the trailer. We'll see you at the storage unit. All right, we made it to the unit 529, 529, paid $299 after fees. 260 was the original price, fees raised it up crazy, a crazy amount. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of an overview. Now I'm gonna set you on time lapse and we're gonna move right on. We don't wanna be here long. We'll see if the... Yeah, the train set is actually in there. That's cool. All right, so uh, furniture, furniture. There's a dr dresser back there, chest, chest, and then uh, looks like all four chairs possibly there. I see three chairs, but I'm hoping they're all there. Uh, nightstands, nightstands, a lot of little furniture, which is good. Chair, cool. I like this little uh, suitcase. Uh, some bags down there. All right, we're going to get rolling here. So when I was doing my research online on storagetreasures.com, I noticed that there were several things in these pictures in the unit that I bought that had similar items in another unit for sale. Obviously I did not get both units, but I noticed that there were several things in both units for sale that were very similar. I wish I got both units so I could match up all the items together. This ends up being a problem later on, you'll see. All right. Well, I mean, we get mixed. We get mixed feelings about this unit. For for real, um, there's definitely when you buy a unit that comes with two different units, there's issues because we have drawers to a dresser, and the other guy that bought the other unit has a dresser with no drawers, and we're pretty sure that this mirror goes to some type of dresser, right? Over. So that's frustrating. We have a random mirror, and we have. I mean, I'll, let me show you. Uh, we have like random drawers over here. So we got a, a pile of drawers here, but I think we're going to do all right. I mean, we got some nice uh, nautical style lamps. Here's another cool lamp. People kind of like lamps. The last unit didn't really have good lamps, but I got a lot of response to it. Once they kind of saw them, they were kind of like, eh. So those are pretty much junk. Uh, we got this nice um, furniture piece here. I don't know, nothing crazy, but unique. 
Uh, we have the drawers to these two nightstands, which those are big, but they um, will clean up nice. We have all four chairs with the table. Table's inside the unit still. We have this little card table set. That won't be much, but I think this will be our big money maker. They're not bad at all. They're very unique. Nothing's broken on it, nothing damaged. Ironing board. So the majority of the storage unit was, was cooking stuff, kitchen stuff. There's definitely, she was definitely a filmer, teacher, photographer, something like that. Oh yeah, there's a camera. I'll show you the camera here in a second. Uh, it doesn't, oh yeah, there's a Nintendo DS uh, right here. So these two boxes are empty, but there's a, uh, this is a, it's called a Dan meter. Uh, it looks like it's for some type of electrical thing. I need to look that up, I'm not sure. But here's the Nintendo DS. I haven't tried to turn it on yet or nothing like that. It has a game in it. Um, stethoscope, single head. Doesn't look like a top of the line, but these are sometimes can be uh, worth some money. So this little knickknacks in here. Just uh, lots and lots of like old pictures and stuff like that. I don't know, it's just papers and papers and papers and lots. Just lots and lots of household kitchen items. But, the, you know, the thing is, Dad, right, they're all pretty nice equipment. Like, yeah. um, like there's this pizza cutter. You think, oh, oh, it's a pizza cutter. This thing is the nicest pizza cutter I've ever seen, like, without working at a pizza place or nothing. Um, we got a, nice. It's so nice. It's just... <laughs> so we got this, like, random box of stuff here. This will have some value to it. It has... Uh, a little knickknack stuff in it, stuff of value, some electrical stuff. Uh, Looks some kind of like diffuser s system here. A little tripod, suitcases. There's a suitcase within a suitcase within a suitcase in there. Um, the nice chest here, which is full of full of blankets, full of dog hair. They kind of stink, but um, I don't know. Here's a this little like foyer table. That's kind of nice. And this is a probably the a nice piece here. That would be worth some money. Uh, it doesn't come with drawers. It has like shelves. So, oh. yeah, I mean, it's three drawers, but I mean, it doesn't have, it's not missing anything. And everything looks to be in pretty decent shape. I think we're going to be all right. You know, if nothing else, this will keep my, the flea market booth rolling and rolling. Um, I'll definitely got to go through everything else and kind of, and kind of sort it out. If we come across anything of great value, then we'll definitely uh, show you on the page here. I'm not sure if this video will continue on later. Um, I'm sure that I'm going to have stuff I'm going to show you down the road in the next day or so and kind of go through all this stuff and let you know what I found. So, All right, it's the next day. We are back home. I'm in my garage. I got all the stuff. It was It got really late last night, and it got dark, so I really couldn't show you everything last night, and we were kind of in a hurry, so I doing things a little different on this video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to clean out all the stuff, put some stuff in my shed, some stuff is going to the uh, flea market booth, and I'm just gonna show you what we find along the way here. The majority of the stuff is really, really, really old pictures and lots of kitchen appliances stuff. But they're nice. I'm going to show you like the majority of the nice the kitchen appliances stuff. I think they're going to sell good in the, the flea market booth. Um, all my other kitchen items I put in there that were like good quality sold really quick. And they were like two, three dollars a piece. This stuff is going to be like more like five to ten dollars a piece. So I'm hoping that we can get a lot of our money back through all this kitchen stuff. Every box we opened was like kitchen stuff, kitchen stuff, pictures, kitchen stuff, kitchen stuff. It's kind of weird. And then uh, we got a bunch of furniture too. So. Here's one item we found is this uh, Kodiak camera, HD camera. It doesn't turn on right now. Um, batteries are dead. Decent little camera. All right. I got a bunch of things lined out here to show you. Kind of major This is the majority of what we got. My dad has a lot of stuff in his car, but it's really a lot of the same kind of stuff, which I'll show you eventually, but uh, just kind of give you an idea here so you don't get too bored. A lot of the other unit had filming stuff in it. So that kind of stinks that I didn't get a hold of that. Because I could have used that for the YouTube channel, right? In here, there's a bunch of like little knickknack stuff in here. Roasting pans, uh, cutter for like 
art projects and stuff like that. I think she did her own projects, and I think she was a nurse. I found a, uh, a lot of nursing stuff. So we got that. One Christmas ornament. And then this right here is one of those vacuum sealers. Uh, there's a box of bags somewhere. But roasting pan, sealer. I went through this already. It's uh, more of like someone, some lady's purse items, lip balm, stuff like that. Pretty much all trash. It's a pretty dirty purse. It's kind of weird how the purse is real dirty, but everything else is like pretty clean. Food processor. Uh, this right here is one of those baking dishwasher safe um, pans. It also has the lid with it too. So all the attachments for the food processor. Lots and lots of these like little pie dishes, stuff like that. So these are all sell for like a dollar piece. Nice pan down here, nice bowl, uh, alarm clock. Moving on, rice cooker. This is like a really nice, I think oven safe pad thing to protect your large pans. More baking stuff, dish stuff. Little purse, little wallet. It's empty. Some little truck here. This whole box right here is full of like Tervises. There's a bunch of Coca-Cola cups, which I thought were kind of neat. I'm not gonna show you all these, but there's like there's like ten of these in here, eight or ten, something like that. Life is better on the lake. Yes, it is. I heart Lou Larue. It's like that's a personalized thing here. Uh, this is kind of cool. It's like a few, uh, fruit infused cup thing. We got this little hanging plant thing. Also in here is a um, little uh, blender. Pretty nice little blender. More of these Coke cups. Coke cups. A lot of Coke cups and services. There's a Cincinnati Reds cup in there too. This right here is like a bunch of like racks. I don't know if this is from a refrigerator. Kind of looks like it. But there's a really nice chili pot down there. Egg crate. If you can tell. But that's uh it has a lid on it and everything. I'm not really gonna go down there and get that, but these are one of those fruit baskets you hang on the wall. Next box. Serving plates. Let me see those over there. Lots of like this. That's broken. I thought, was, oh, thought that was going to be nice. Another blender. So, some cups. Some drinking cups. Blender type things. I don't know. I really haven't gone through this one at all. Uh, I thought this was nice down here. So they have like a nice, like a stone bunt cake type thing. And these are all really nice stone baking things here. We, we can actually use this at the house. We have a bunch of those. I thought this was kind of random. A bunch of art stuff and then some knee pads, which I'm probably going to keep. But I don't know what these are. These are there's a bunch of these little things, little cups. Don't have any markings on them. I have like ten or fifteen of them. I think they're for baking, but I'm not sure. Toaster, another another blender type thing. Little bowls, lots of that kind of stuff. So here's I heart nursing. This is the first bucket we, we looked through. Some mag lights. One of them works. Glasses. Here's that um, charger. Another another flashlight, magnifying glass. We thought like a lot of stuff in here was really cool. Sewing kit, whatever. I don't know, there's a label maker. A lot of these brown bags, like art project stuff. And she has lots and lots of bags. So it's hard to tell with the sunlight. The iron. She has bags and bags and bags. 
in bags. Lots of little bags. Bags don't sell that greatest. I have like three to four more drawers that go to a dresser we don't have. Like I said before, those are all going to be trashed. Nice little spring wreath. This little thing right here is kind of neat. It's like an organizer. It has a whole bunch of these little, I'm not sure what they are. They're like little clear looking organized bag things. I think there's like five of these in here. Uh, also in here, I thought this was really cool. Little um, Harley Davidson hat with a tag on it. I thought that was kind of neat. Random. So random. So there's a bunch of like little uh, pictures in here. Art projects that maybe she painted. A dachshund. Some kind of hanging organizer. Uh, picture. More more photographs art stuff so stuff some of the stuff will sell some of it won't there's a chair the only thing about it it has a little bit of a rip down there on the bottom i don't know a way to fix that maybe i can hang some other type of fabric to cover that up so this is pretty much it in the unit there's a uh, suitcases this is the biggest nicest suitcase there's a little suitcase inside and a smaller suitcase inside that. Maybe that chest box down there. It's full of blankets, nothing in that. Photographs, photographs, photographs. End tables showed you that. Para spa, wax refill. It's just the refill kit. Then we got this um, diffuser type thing. I'm a, maybe it's not a diffuser. I don't know. I don't know what this is. I gotta look that up. Um, I'm not sure what this is. Never used one. That's pretty much, uh, this is pretty much all I have right now to show you. It pretty much is all the same stuff in my dad's car. If we run across something that's really cool, I'm definitely gonna show you guys on a later video. But this is the fourth unit I bought. $299, this is what that will buy you. Right now, the storage unit stuff has been kind of, kind of hot right now. Like I, can't, I have a hard time finding a, a decent unit under two hundred dollars. It's frustrating to me because a lot of it is I don't know if this is all worth it or not. I know you guys really enjoy watching them. I really enjoy doing this, but I can't keep buying stuff for three hundred dollars and breaking even because all this time is just wasted time for me. So. I think I'm going to focus a lot of my time and attention on units going under $100 and hoping that there's something in it because I think that's going to be a little bit better use of my time and money. Uh, I'd rather not spend a lot of money and spend a lot of time taking stuff to the dump. And uh, A lot of you guys have already voiced that opinion already, and I agree with you. So we'll see. I really enjoy doing this stuff, though. I kind of like It's like Christmas every day. So we'll see uh, where the next one leads. So I just brought this in the house here real quick and looked this up. It's on Amazon. They're around $250, anywhere from $60 to $90 if they're all there. I'm looking through all the, the pieces right now. Looks like it's pretty new. I don't think it's ever been used. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, so I was going through some of the stuff uh, a little bit more and I found a bunch of $2 bills. So that was kind of cool. This is why I go through every paperwork, everything, every folder, every envelope. Uh, you get to go through it all. It even has a Canada $2 bill, which I've never seen before. So, pretty cool. I'm sure there's other pretty cool things here. I just don't have time really to mess with them right now. My week has been really, really hectic. Well, I, actually, the last past two weeks have been really, really hectic. With the leak in my house, with the shower... I'm going to be doing a video on my bathroom remodel. I'm working on a video for that. So stay tuned for that. I'm no carpenter or any, by any means, but I'm a go-getter, so I'm doing it all by myself. I had some work with my plumbing um, with a friend who did that for, for me. and uh, So i got a couple videos coming down the pike. I just haven't had time to really work on all of them like I want to. I want to just spend the whole day processing stuff and showing you guys everything, but... I want this video to be fairly short. I don't want to make a long, lengthy video for you guys to get bored with. 
busy times. I still have stickers for sale, two dollars. Shoot me an email, my email's down below in the description. If you want a Jones edition sticker, let me know. I'll send you an invoice on PayPal and mail it out. Two dollars shipped to your house, a little sticker if you want. Let me know. If you're new to this channel, like, subscribe. I do all kinds of Jeep stuff, storage unit stuff, and camping fishing when it gets warmer. So catch you later. See ya.